Hello, sports fans! Welcome to the Broadcast Booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's Throwback Thursday, and you know what that means. Old stuff. Today we're going to take a look at the Tops.com Throwback Thursday set number 43. But first, we've got an old-timer retrospective hashtag OT Retro on the recently passed Mel Stottlemyer. Mel passed away January 13th after a battle with cancer. He pitched in the big leagues for 11 years, all for the Yankees. Here we have his 1965 Topps rookie card, and it's a beauty. Uh, He actually came up to the big leagues mid-season 64, and he faced off with Bob Gibson three times in the 64 World Series. He won Game 2, no decision in Game 5, and lost Game 7. Cards win the World Series. He was a five-time All-Star. He won 20 games in 1965, 68, and 69. And he threw 40 career shutouts. That's the same number as Sandy Koufax. That's a stud. This is 1970. Tops card, Melvin Leon Stottlemyre. He was also a great hitting pitcher. Uh, In 64, he went 5-for-5 in a game, and in 65, he hit an inside-the-park grand slam. Uh, He was a career 164 and 139 with a 297 ERA and 1,257 strikeouts. He never won a World Series as a player, but he won five as a coach, his first being in what Bleacher Report calls the greatest World Series of all time, the 1986 Mets over the Red Sox, or Bill Buckner through the Wickets World Series. This is a TTM my dad got back in the day of Mel and his Mets gear. Very cool. Kudos to my dad for having all of these in the collection. Uh, and then he won four World Series with the Yankees in the heyday, 1996, 1998, 99, and 2000. Those were some good years for Yankee fans. Uh, he retired from baseball in 2008. And in 2015, he received his own plaque in Monument Park at Yankee Stadium, probably the biggest honor any Yankee can receive. Now, fun facts, both of his sons, Mel Jr. and Todd Stottlemyre, were big league pitchers, and both of them attended my alma mater, UNLV. Mel Jr. was hired in December 2018 as the new Marlins pitching coach. So... We got the Stottlemyre pitching coach legacy going on. Very cool. Uh, And his brother Todd had a longer career and was part of the back-to-back Blue Jays World Series championships of 92 and 93. That's the Touch 'em All Joe World Series. Uh, And fans who were around back then might recall the classic Todd Stottlemyre botched slide into third base where he scraped up his chin really, really well. Just a classic World Series moment uh, in my memory. A couple more Todd Stottlemyers here. Just a little fun stuff. Very cool. So Mel Stottlemyer is a guy you definitely don't want to overlook in baseball history or your card collection. His rookie card has some good value. Check eBay, really uh, quite a valuable card. Uh, And of course, he will always live on in Monument Park. Rest in peace, Mel Stottlemyre. Now let's take a look at the Topps Throwback Thursday set number 43, inspired by the 1954 set. So really, really cool, vibrant colors. Comes in one of these cool, handy-dandy cases. You know, I'm a fan. Just taking my first glimpse here, they're really thick. Um, They're basically double uh, stacked, so you've got your image side and then your back side, so they're they're really durable. That's always good. Now, I will say, though, just looking at this top Acuna card, the images they're using are not very sharp. There's quite a bit of pixelation. Uh, This looks like they're just pulling images from their other cards. I want to say these are both either heritage or archives or something like that. Um, They just look really, really familiar to me. But the colors are great, so you've got a little scratching here. 
So that's just, again, not a very, it, while it may feel durable, it just doesn't seem to be a very high quality printing. Uh, but had to get this set for this guy, my man Miguel. And do you believe in miracles? Starting at third base in 2019, you know it. Miguel Andujar. Nice David Bodie. Look at that powder blue back there. Very nice. Uh, he hits them when they matter. But uh, KB, I predict, having a big time bounce back year. So I don't know what they're going to do with Bodie. Uh, make it, maybe put him in the outfield. But uh, he's, he's a little too good to not play, I imagine. Nice Juan Soto. Look at that orange. Really vibrant. They're all well cut. I mean, you know, the white border is pretty much dead center on all of them. And the last one here is Devers. Again, this is, um, I don't know what that is. It's either archives or heritage again. So basically they're just recycling images, which I never really am a fan of, and especially not a fan when you blow it up and you pixelate it because of doing that. And you can see like the Red Sox logo, you know, the nat all the logos and the text are really clean and crisp. But just to the naked eye, I'm not quite sure how it's going to show up on uh, camera here. But on to the naked eye, it is quite a bit pixelated, just not really super sharp. But it uh, wasn't really an expensive set. You know, I wanted to grab it because it had all the rookies and it had my guy and Duhar. So uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of Topps Throwback Thursday set number 43. Let me know if you have any fun Mel Stottlemyre memories. I appreciate you watching. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Tell all your friends, and I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.